What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle and in today's puzzle this is one of my all-time favorites it is the four fours challenge and in this challenge you have to make numbers 1 through 20 using only four fours and the following arithmetic symbols so of course you have plus minus times divide factorial square roots and parentheses go ahead hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out when you're ready hit play I'll give you the explanation All right, let's take a look. Now, a quick caveat, there are a number of ways to solve this. So what I'm gonna show you is not the only right way. Uh, I'm sure if you worked on it, there's probably a way that you did it that is gonna be different from how I'm gonna solve. So just keep that in mind, but I'm gonna show you how I would get each of these numbers. And of course, some are harder than others. So I'm just gonna kind of jump around randomly. First, I'm going to start with number four. So four, we can get by saying four, plus four, all right. We're going to then take that and we're gonna divide by four. And that gives me eight divided by four is two. So all we need to do is add another two and I'm gonna add the square root of four. So that's eight divided by four is two plus two happens to be four. Now, of course, there might could be a simpler way, but that's just what's popping in my head. Now let's go to eight. I've got four plus four plus four minus four. And that's it, very simple. That adds up to 12 minus four and then we get to eight. So for number two, I'm gonna say four divided by four, which gives me one. I'm gonna put parentheses around this even though I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyways just to make sure it's clear. Hey, that's just a one. And then we're gonna add another four divided by four. So that is a one plus one, which gives me a two. For number one, I'm going to go like this. I'm gonna say four plus four, in parentheses, parentheses are important here, divided by four plus four. So what we have here is we get eight divided by eight, which gives us one. For number three, I'm gonna go a little heavy on the square root. So I'm gonna say square root of four, which is two, plus square root of four, which is two. And then I'm gonna put these guys in, you know, I'm gonna add these up. That's gonna be two plus two, which is actually four. And I'm gonna take the square root of that, right? And that gives me a two. Now all I need to do is add a one to this. So then I'm gonna add four divided by four, which of course is our one. So that's two plus two is four. Square root of four is two plus one is three. Let's jump up to 16, just because it popped in my head and it's one of the easier ones. I'm just gonna do a nice simple four plus four plus four plus four, and that gives me 16. For number 12, I'm gonna say four plus four, and that gives me eight. Then I'm gonna add the square root of four, that gives me 10, and then another square root of four, and that takes me up to 12. Let's take it back to number six. So I'm going to say four, plus four, plus four, that's a nice 12. And I'm gonna put that in parentheses, take that 12, and I'm gonna divide by, not four, because that would give me three, but I'm gonna divide by the square root of four, right? Square root of four is two, 12 divided by two, that gives me six. For number five, I'm going to say square root of four, which is two, plus square root of four, which is another two, so two plus two is four, and then I'm gonna add that nice one value, which I already got up there, right? Four divided by four happens to be one. Again, I don't need these parentheses because of order of operation, just doing it to make it absolutely clear. For number seven, I'm gonna say four plus four, which is an eight. I just need to subtract a one. And again, I'm gonna subtract that four divided by four, which equates to one. So eight minus one is seven. For number nine, I'm gonna do exactly what I did in, in seven, but add it instead. So I got four plus four plus four divided by four, which gives me eight plus one is nine. For number 10, I'm going to first add up to 12 with three fours. So I'm gonna say four plus four plus four. And then all I need to do is subtract a two. So I'm gonna subtract the square root of four. Next, I'm gonna jump up to number 20 and I'm gonna actually use multiplication here. I'm gonna say four times four, which gives me 16. And then I'm gonna add a square root of four, which is two, takes me up to 18. 
and add another square root of four, which takes me up to 20. After that, I'm gonna go to 17, and I'm gonna start the same way. I'm gonna say four times four, which gives me that nice 16. And then I'm going to add four divided by four, which is again a one. So 16 plus one is 17. Just like I did 17, I'm gonna do 15, except for I'm gonna use subtraction instead. So again, I'm gonna say four times four is 16 minus four divided by four. So again, we've got a 16 minus one, which gives us 15. Next, we're gonna to go to 14, which is simply gonna be four plus four plus four. That brings us up to 12. We just need to add a two. So I'm gonna add square root of four, which again is two, and there's our 14. For 18, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again start with that nice multiplication. Four times four is 16. I'm gonna add four, taking me up to 20, and then I'm gonna subtract the square root of four. Again, square root of four is two, so 16 plus four is 20, minus two is 18. For 19, I'm finally going to use factorial. So I'm gonna do four factorial. Now again, if you're unfamiliar with factorial, it's like a multiplication countdown. It's four times three times two times one, which happens to be 24. Then I'm gonna subtract four, which brings me down to 20. Last but not least, I'm going to subtract again four divided by four, which you already know is one. So it's 24 minus four is 20, minus one takes us down to 19. Now we come to 11 and 13, the two toughest numbers to solve. So I'm gonna start with 11, and again, I'm gonna call into play my factorial. So I got my factorial four, factorial is again 24. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna divide it by the square root of four. So this gives me a nice value. And I'm just gonna throw parentheses around it just for fun. So that's gonna give me a nice value of 12. Now all I gotta do is <clears throat> subtract one and I've got my 11 value. And of course we already know four divided by four is one. Boom, done. Last but not least, I'm gonna go to 13. But look, 13, I can take what I did in 11 which I go right here and I do 24 divided by two. Again, four factorial is 24 divided by square root of four, which is two, equals 12. And instead of subtracting one, I'm going to add one. So add four divided by four, and we got it. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you wanna see more, please click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.